Good evening, distinguished members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Baker, and all of the executive staff and the guests here tonight. And thank you to my parents also for being here to support me, <laughs> and Ms. Ishikawa as well. I am Ivory Alice Gomez, and I am an 11th grade ASB representative from Browning High School and also a member of the Browning soccer team. Things have been changing rapidly at Browning High School. Dr. Romat has done a tremendous job leading the herd, and we are very proud for what she has done for us students. As you all may know, we, Browning currently focuses on early college. Right now, we currently have three LBCC courses being taught on our campus right now by actual college professors. Our students are working very hard to earn their college credits. On our campus, we have the fabulous Donald Williams who has organized a basketball league for our theme schools. Sato, McBride, Polly Powell, and Reed have all come together on Friday nights to celebrate and watch our teams play. Our basketball team has brought lots of pride to our school, and once the season ends, it will be time for soccer, and my teammates and I will be able to show off our skills. <laughs> In other Bison news, we are continuing to host our advisory board mixers. This gives our students an opportunity to meet and mingle with to meet and mingle with active culinary and hospitality leaders in our community. A few of our students have even had job offers from the advisory board mixers. In culinary, nine of our students entered into a cooking, into a cooking competition for CCAP, Careers Through Culinary Arts Program, in February. Our five finalists will be competing at the end of March against over 30 other students, chefs, to see if they can win a full scholarship to culinary school. They will have to prove their ability to recreate chicken, chaucers, and a crepe with pastry cream and chocolate drizzle. Browning also participated in LBUSD's first theme school winter formal. McBride, Renaissance, Sato, Reed, Cams, and EPHS joined us at the OC Hangar for an awesome night of dance and fun. Our students enjoyed DJ, photo booths, air hockey, foosball games, and the best part, an in and out truck and a dessert truck as well. In April, all of our Culinary One students will be visiting Los Cerritos Ranch House in Long Beach where they will, be, where they will learn the history behind the historical landmark, as well as learn how to make their famous marmalade and jams. We hope to become a partner with Los Cerritos to be their primary processor for marmalades and jams. If we are lucky enough, our students will be able to develop their own flavors of jams. May 21st will be our first official senior prom night. This dance will be hosted by our LBUSD theme schools and held at California Science Center. We are so excited to give our juniors and seniors a chance to dance the night away. On May 26th, we plan to celebrate our seniors with the Senior Awards Night. This will be hosted by my class, the class of 2023. Most of our seniors will be receiving medallions to signify their achievements throughout their Browning careers, graduation courts from participating in clubs, and a dinner they will always remember. Our graduation is set for June 15th. We are excited to wish our seniors luck as they venture into the big world. This is our second graduating class, and we are happy to celebrate our Bison seniors. As the year comes to a close, we would like to thank the board and Superintendent Baker for all of your hard work and support during the school year, and Dr. Roman for helping us find our Bison spirit. Thank you, and go Bisons! <laughs> thank you, Ivory. Wonderful job. Um, I'm stuck on the marmalades and jams. Uh, that sounds like a cool podcast uh, opportunity, too. Um, Ivory, we know you're a junior, so can you share a little bit about uh, things that you're looking forward to in your senior year and or after graduation? Of course. For my senior year, um, I'm hoping to spend as much time as I can, especially with um, my teachers, because since our school is so small, we build relationships from starting from freshman year going all the way to our senior year and as well as participating in the events that will only happen once in a lifetime as well. And after college, I'm, after high school, I hope to go to college and attend a couple courses that I am very interested in. Can you share with us the oh, courses? Of course. <laughs> um, one course I will, 
I would hopefully be taking is going to be business a business course as well as starting a foundation business and building it up into something bigger and also for real estate. Very cool. Any uh, thoughts or ideas about uh, university or colleges that you'd like to attend? Um, currently, right now, the Lo Long Beach com um, College. Uh -huh. Long Beach yes. City College? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. Uh, board members, any other questions and or uh, thoughts about the uh, marmalade and jam? <laughs> well, I love marmalade and jam. Um, <laughs> But that's so smart that you're taking advantage of the uh, Long Beach College promise. Yes. I, I hope everybody knows about that. But you're so smart to be taking uh, advantage of that. I, I wanted to hear a little bit more about this uh, soccer team of yours. How, did you guys, how are you guys doing so far? Um, so far, we have been practicing three days a week. And we're pr doing pretty good, especially with team bonding skills and learning how to advance our skills as well on the field. And last but not least, what is the most exciting thing that you got to participate in this year? This year, I'd say the, our first winter formal because it's the first one I have attended in high school and I've got to meet new people as well because of all the schools that were combined with us as well. Winter formals are the best. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we saw those social media posts from the winter formal. It <laughs> yeah. looked like a great time. Mm -hmm. So just a little background on the marmalade. So I am a board member for Rancho Los Cerritos, and we have, are having a discussion. Um, they have a lot of citrus on site, and they've had marmalade in the past. And when we someone asked why we weren't having marmalade, they said they just didn't have a way to produce it that was cost effective. And I'm like. So I know some students who might be interested and, and connected uh, the Rancho with our Pathways team and the high school office. And this is super exciting to hear that it, this is coming to fruition because it's one of those really wonderful Long Beach connections. And when we can work together, we can do great things for students. So I am super excited. I'm going to find out when that day is. I'm going to come visit. I think I hear a plug for a label named Megan Kerr's world famous marmalade in general. Not at all. <laughs>